Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we're here, and this is going to be week number six, I believe, of the UBL low tier season. And we're up against Automatic, the commissioner of the league, and his Nuzleafs. I've been holding up for quite a bit now, but this is a really, really tough matchup here. There's a lot going on, but I really kind of like the team that I have here, and we're going to just get right into it. Okay, we are going to see the Sneasel, Claydol, the Scavalier, Magmortar, Wishy Washy, and. What's that thing called? Uh, Manectric. Okay. So, pretty much most of the things that I would have expected, I'm kind of surprised not to see the Clefairy. No Clefairy surprises me. Laurentis, I thought, was somewhat possible, but realistically, the Wishy Washy does everything that the Laurentis would want to do, but kind of better. I'm kind of relieved to see No Pseudo Widow. Not because it's a terror against my team, but just because it creates a number of mismatches and just somewhat difficult to deal with. I'm very excited because I see the throw here. Realistically, the throw. And then Manectra could have come interchangeably, but I'm kind of glad. I don't know. Maybe I'm happier to see the Manectric. Regardless, I think I want to lead off with this thing. Hmm. Is that the case? I think I will. I think I will. I could lead off with the Persian as well, but it's probably too late now. Though... Okay, so there are a lot of things to kind of think through here. A lot of things to, th to think through here. I'm honestly really relieved to not see the throw. But... What can I take away from this matchup? Kingler has a lot of chances to do a lot of things here. So does Pinsir. Uh, mm. Yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup no matter what happens. But I do think we have the tools that we kind of need here. It does lead off with the Wishy Washy, which is very, very interesting to me. And I fully expect this to kind of be max... Um, oh, that... Did I misclick? Did I not uh, get in my team on time? Okay, I definitely did not then. Uh, okay, well, that's not great at all. What even options do I have to switch into here? Uh, I guess I can... Yeah, that's just a mistake on my part. I don't know. Uh, I, I could expect the Ice Human go into... No, I think this is the play that I make every time. Uh, I really expected to be able to get just a... Uh, just to get a... U-turn off with my with my Archaeops. But yeah, just goes for the flip turn. That's going to be fine, I suppose. Um, this will allow me to pivot out on whatever wants to come in. Uh, I think you should see that I'm really defensive here. But, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of thrown off by that turn one. I could have gotten up free rocks, which would have been pretty interesting for me here. But. But. Uh, goes into this thing. Okay. Okay. Well, flip turn did what? About 20-ish points of damage? Which is just about in line for a no investment for a no investment flip turn, and I think I could pretty freely. Oh, I could burning gel. Burning jealousy is is genuinely really tempting here. Um, but a scavalier, if it is specially defensive, burning jealousy is not even a two ko. Yeah, I think I parting shot every time, which is which uh, which is unfortunate for sure. Um, it does kind of allow in my magmar a little bit. He does have counterplay to it, which sucks, but overall, I think, I think, yeah, even if this thing is AV, Fire Blast should just do every bit of damage that I need to do here. I am still a little bit disappointed. Actually, he probably clicks knockoff on this turn for sure, for sure. So I might just give it up here. Yeah, I suppose this makes sense. I suppose this makes sense. I could click Toxic, assuming the... Yeah, goes for the knockoff. Um, we could get a Flame Body. Flame Body? No Flame Body. I'm gonna click Toxic. I think this makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna do it. It might be a bad play if he, say, if he clicks Draw Run here, but... I mean, he should know how much damage I'm, I'm putting out if, uh, if I just... A really strong Fire Blast here. And you might want to preserve this for other things on the team. I don't know. He might not care about this. And if it is, then this is just an, a, a, a hilariously bad play. But yeah, he does withdraw. 
And I think I will get an opportunity. Oh, goes into something else. Goes into Claydol. Okay. Okay. That was that was definitely unex unexpected. He could get a Brox because I am very much because I I he should know that I don't have any removal here. What I think I want to do. Huh. Do I, though? <laughs> um. He's either gonna click EQ or rocks. Maybe this is a better play so I can. You turn out. Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because I did run Calx before this matchup, and I believe even, even a modest U turn should do. Dang near half. Just about. So. Maybe this will work out for me. Yeah, it just yeah, it just goes for the rocks. Um, I think that's ultimately fine. I think that's ultimately fine. It does suck, but um, it's not the worst thing in the world. In terms of things he'd want to go into, probably just the wishy washy, right? The wishy washy is probably just the forever switch into this. Wishy washy will let me make a play into, or it just stays in. Yeah, that's that, that, that's max defense for sure, for sure, and a target helmet, so that's fine. Um, this is not looking great. This is definitely not going the way that I expected. I'm I'm definitely a little um thrown off by not being able to to lead the way that I wanted to. But he could could he just be going for a rock slide? I guess I don't know. Or e either rock slide or psychic here. Either way, this is probably the best play I have available to me. Yeah, this is probably the best play that I have available to me. I don't know what else he would really want to go for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, and now, assuming that this thing is max defensive, I have to assume that we weaken this thing enough that, um... Oh, this is max special defense. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're, we're right around the range where Dark Pulse is doing roughly what it needs to be doing. However, with him putting pretty much everything on a timer like this, I think I'm going to have to kind of prioritize... Ah, uh, this is rough. I really want to click Burning Jealousy on this thing. But that puts me in an awkward position because it kind of makes me weaker to the Sneasel. Now, that doesn't matter as much in, like, absolute terms, but it's just not ideal for me, right? Um, it actually looks like this might not be max uh, special defense. So I'd be curious, and, and, and especially, yeah, I think he's going to knock off. Yeah, yeah, I think I can freely kind of burning jealousy here. I just kind of see how much damage this nets me here. Um, it will be a 2 KO, but that was kind of to be expected. Goes for a draw run, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of expecting me to, expect me to make a, a similar kind of play. As last time. But now we're putting this uh, in range of a lot of things. I don't know if you'd want to keep this thing here. I don't know. How much does he really value this thing when it's this low? I have to imagine he thinks that everything on, on, on the rest of my team can kind of manage it, right? Hmm. Maybe I should have brought Boots... Boots, uh, Pincer. Well, well, seeing no Clefairy makes me definitely think that, think that I should have brought Boots, um, Boots, Pincer. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, I have to burn in Jealousy to take this thing out, but it gives him so much counterplay. He lets him go into the Magmortar if he wants to. Um, but I, but I have to be the Magmortar. I can Parting Shot. It could be a Scarf Magmortar, which would be bad. But, goes into Wishy Wash. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I think he flip turns here, because he knows that I want a parting shot on this turn. So I would not be surprised at all if he just goes for the flip turn. Do I play off of that, though? I've seen that flip turn doesn't do that much damage. He knows how physically defensive I am. He knows that I'm prone to clicking parting shot. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think I just get try to get some damage off and try to, and, and try to wear this thing down by getting a Dark Pulse off. I think that's my play, because I think he just clicks flip turn here. And then, no matter what he goes into, I'm, pu I'm putting him in an awkward position here. 
but I don't think he just scalds and just tries to like deal deal a whole bunch of um, damage to me. I think it makes more of a, 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 a momentum play, which he just did. I don't think Sneasel's a, a, a great play. Claydol's not a great play. The Scavalier's not a great play. Magmortar, Magmortar's probably his best play, to be honest. And, um... Manectric is is viable, but... Not the best for him, I suppose, because I can because I, I can freely parting shot out. He could go... Yeah, 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 we call the Magmortar. I wouldn't be surprised at all to, if this is a an assault vest bag mortar. I think he's I, th I think he's shown that in the past. But I think regardless, I just have the parting shot out. I just have the parting shot out. But then what do I do after the parting shot? Um, after the parting shot, I could go into he could he could be. Like, Clicking um, Thunderbolt, expect me to go into my Archaeops. He could be trying to play off of me going into this. I think I have to get rocks up eventually. Yeah, yeah. This is ultimately what this is here for. Well, realistically, this is here for the for the, for the Manectric more than anything else. But my point is, um, goes for the Toxic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now we're doing something because. Um, this thing is kind of specifically built for these situations here. Um, I'm a risk a bite. I can get rocks up. I can um, start to wear down the team. And ultimately, I think I'm putting myself in an okay position to man. Well, the wishy washy probably comes in now, right? Wishy washy probably comes in now. Maybe I should have clicked toxic. I probably should have clicked toxic. That's that's probably. Oh no, it goes into this thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, this thing could very well be max defense, and I think every indication is that it might be. Um, it looks like I'm, I'm out of 2-8 range, and I think he wants to knock off on this turn. If he wants to knock off on this turn, I probably just go into Magmar, right? Magmar's taking a bunch of damage. I might not even take a knockoff at this point. Well, without an item, I probably take one hit, but then I have to kind of, um, but then he goes in, 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 into Wishy Washy, and I'm just in a bad position overall, right? But yeah, we do take one hit. Um, the Wishy Washy is for sure going to come in. I really do want to click Scorching Sands. Um, but Fire Blast, I think, does more damage. I Toxic last time, and the Claydol came in. Um... I could Scorching Sands, expecting the Wish Watcher to come in, try to play off of a burn to help me out there. I don't think he would bring in a Claydol now that I have Rocks up and the damage. He might go into Wishy Washy here, potentially. But I've already shown Toxic. I could I, I, I could click Lava Plume and kind of get um, a little bit of both. I, I can still hit the Claydol. I can still two hit the Claydol and get a burn chance on the on the Wish and Washy. I think that's probably the better play here. Um, Magmortar's, or Magmar's gonna go down, but at the very least, yeah, this thing comes in. But, uh, he will lose his opportunity to Rapid Spin. And... We should pick up a KO. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, we do get the first KO in this game. Um, and he's gonna have to reveal his hand a little bit on whatever comes into Revenge. It could be... <laughs> Sneasel, Manectric. Sneasel and Manectric are probably the best options. I don't know. It's tough for me to say. I've, I've already revealed Toxic, so the Wish and Washy would make sense. Even though he could easily just flip turn out. Um, there, there's the burn chance, and I've already revealed... Um, and I've already revealed... It does go into Wish and Washy. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I would not be surprised at all if he goes for the... For the for just a free flip turn here, but I think no matter what, just wearing this thing down is gonna net me the most in, in, in the longer run of this match. And I think I can kind of um, deal with things a little bit better. There's liquidation. 
So it does also does also risk uh, the flame body a little bit there. It is physical, so maybe it would have been better to, to get a flame body there. But now we're in an interesting position. This thing being physical maybe means that maybe means that it doesn't have ice beam, but I don't think that's ever anything that I risk here. I could I could give this thing up. I could give this thing up in order to I could give this thing up in order to knock off. But this is probably the better play, right? Because I think no matter what, this is never going to win me the game. Well, neither is well, ne neither of them are. I suppose which is more likely to win me the game, right? I think I'd probably go into this thing. Alright, let's do it. I I mean, to be honest, I wish I'd gotten uh, just another second to, to kind of think about it. But this is kind of where we are, right? Right, like, what can I do here? Um, so let's see. Oh, I didn't even get it in in time. Wow, I'm, my inputs must not be getting in the way that I want them to. Um, but yeah, I can Dark Pulse. This thing could liquidate, which would suck. Uh, I think just getting off some Dark Pulse damage should be, should do me fine here. This thing could be Rest, which would be pretty bad. I've seen... Um, Irish has kind of made that... Um, yeah, there's the Rest. There's the Rest. But is it also... Ch no, it can't be... It's, 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 it's Leftovers. Now, interestingly, does rest does rest allow me to set up on this thing? I think what I want I think the way that I want to play this is I want to get an, I want to get some damage on this thing, and if I can force another rest, if I can force another rest, then then I need to play my parting shot. Um, aggressively so that I can get in my I can get in my Kingler and potentially go for game potentially um, but it's rest sleep talk liquidation flip turn rest sleep talk liquidation flip turn okay rest sleep talk liquidation flip turn okay checks out checks out but I think we can kind of do this a little bit. I would be very curious. Do we get lucky again? Flip turn, okay. But the next time, but the big takeaway here is that the next time this wishy-washy's in, um, potentially my, my Kingler can get some free turns, which is huge. It's absolutely huge. Goes into this thing, okay. Okay, I can reveal my, my own rest mon if, if that if that helps. But I think I just get some damage off with power gem. Oh, this thing's boots, by the way. Just just uh to make them more clear. I think a parting shot here. I think a parting shot here going to bite. He could go back into wishy washy. But then, but then I toxic and I kind of force him to make a play there. And then we can still kind of make things happen. I think, I think Kingler, Kingler has a huge potential to, to just win the game outright, I think. But it's all, it's, it's, it's going to be a matter of getting this double dance off. And it's not going to be particularly easy, but it's going to, uh, it's going to take some maneuvering and it's going to take some working, but I think it's doable. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. I think he goes into the wishy-washy. But do I make that call and go... Does he try to just wear me down? No. No, I, 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 I don't think it lets the Magmortar go this easily. Actually, I click Earthquake so that when the wishy-washy comes in... Oh, 
I'm gonna run low on time. I, I might not even, I, I might not even have time to to to, to do everything that I want to do. But, but okay, okay. I, I I now think that he wants to switch into the Escavalier, right? No, he goes into Witch Watcher. Okay, okay. This this is this is almost as good. This is almost as good because he has to. He has to. Um. Rest on this on 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 this following turn, which gives me an, an opportunity to to parting shot, bring in my Kingler, click click agility, outspeed the entire team, and if I can get a Swords Dance up, then potentially that's the ball game. And knowing that this thing do doesn't have Toxic, uh, I I I know its entire move set. The fact that I know this this thing's ent entire move set means that um, if if he gives me an, uh, enough turn, basically if if he stays in. Clicks, clicks leak talk and lets me and lets me um and lets me set up without getting flip flip turn then that could 100% be, be the entire ball game um at that point oh because because also uh this kingler yeah clicks first because this kingler um with an agility up is uh, out outspeeds a scarfed sneasel so the only moves on his team that he could hit me with is Ice Shard. And at that point, uh, we should be doing something. My The biggest issue is if it's a max defense Escavalier. And I don't... Well, no, because max defense Escavalier, I should always... I, sh I should always be able to Swords Dance up on. So which is out right away. Goes out of this thing, okay. Uh, yeah, that should be a KO. That should be a KO. If, if this thing is max defense impish, and I know this thing is leftovers, liquidation sh should do minimum 49. Uh, that, does that bring a match? Ugh. Okay, max... <sighs> Again, max defense impish. I'm looking at this right now. Max defense impish, and I know this thing is leftovers. Liquidation should do minimum 49% to this thing. Liquidation should do minimum 49% to this thing. Yes, okay, we get the KO. Okay. I think... Um... Manectric should drop right away, I think. Um... Let's see, max HP Manectric still drops. Um, I know Magmortar's boots. Um, the, the, the Wishy-Washy can't touch me, and I Swords Dance up on that thing. Um... Magmortar, if it's a max HP Magmortar. Um, Liquidation KOs. Sneasel, I believe I ran these calcs, and I believe I know that, um... I believe I know that Liquidation should KO. Yeah, it goes into Wishy-Washy. I can, um... I'm gonna look at these calcs. But, I think... I think my best bet is to just to at least Swords Dance up to plus four, at, at a minimum. At a minimum. Right? So... Um, well, no, okay, so if I get up to plus two, yeah, okay, it looks like I have to be up, be up a plus two. Um, but it looks like after a Swords Dance, two Liquidations should pick it up. Two Liquidations after a Swords Dance should pick it up. These are not calcs that I remember for <laughs> specifically w w put the wishing washing, but um, but oh, that's even better for me. Yeah, that's that, that's that's better for me on on every planet. That's better for me on every planet because now no matter what comes in. Okay, so the only thing that I that, that can that can lose me this match right now is oh, th this thing could easily be scarfed. But again, I planned for scarfed Manectric. The only thing that could lose me this match right now is Flame Body uh, Magmortar. Which would be a time. It would definitely be interesting. But yeah, crit didn't matter. Um, we're in position now to do everything that we need to do. At plus two, two liquidations, two liquidation hits, KO the, the, the Wishy Washy. And especially after, after another round of rocks, right? Even if he hits me w w with a liquidation, he, he has to click sleep talk on this turn. Worst case scenario, he hits me with liquidation. 
I don't think that that even brings me under half, and then I hit it with liquidation again. And especially after all this damage that, that, that he's taking, I don't know why he's not just taking his chances with with my mortar at this point, right? Because that, that at this point feels like it's going to be his, his best bet. But at this point, I don't really have to do anything. Um, I, I I could get lucky and save myself some some damage with um with w w with a rest turn. But yeah, he just flip turns out, and I'm doing okay. W when it comes back in, it's gonna it's gonna take even more. Um, it's gonna take you even more chip, and Kingler is in, uh, position. Kingler's in position. If I don't get flame bodied, actually no, flame body matters a lot less because I, because at plus two burned. I think plus two burned wins this game for me. I think. Regardless, there's nothing left to do but to click liquidation. We either get flame bodied or we don't. But at this point, I don't think it. It might not matter. Honestly, it might not matter. We do get burned, which of course we do, because of course we do, right? But it might not matter anymore. Because Liquidation does 23% minimum, and I think when it comes back in with Rock's damage, it, I, I think I get there. Sneasel can potentially... Can potentially... If, if it's Banded Ice Shard, Banded Ice Shard maxes out at 17%. Let's, let's see Adamant Banded Ice Shard. Maxes out at 18%. But yeah, like I said, minimum was like 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 doesn't even get his his big form, so it doesn't matter. I I, I must collect X scissors just for the meme, but uh, I can't because I would take life orb damage, and that could legitimately end up being a, a game decider. Um, but yeah, I I should always Oko the Sneasel, even burned at plus two, and then I that could, that should be it, right? Is that it? Uh, I honestly didn't expect this match to go this way, but uh, I think that could be the game. We outspeed Scarf and Easel, and, 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 okay, so fun fact, um, I, I didn't even want to run that much speed on my Kingler, um, it was kind of like a, a, a last second decision to, to, to decide how much speed I, I want to run, I, I actually almost ran, um, enough speed for max speed, uh, max speed Manectric, or, sorry, max speed Scarf Manectric, but then I decided last second, like, like, what's the point, let me just put, put the rest into, into, um, into outspeeding max speed, scarfed Sneasel and who knows he, he could add a scarf in there but regardless we outspeed the team Kingler came in picked up five KOs we get the win and this was a pretty close to a much win because um we've taken a couple losses to a couple games that I really think we should have won I think that Matt O'Shea game we absolutely should have won that Irish Emerald game I was just not where I needed to be mentally and uh that's a game that I just wish I could I, I could have back but regardless I, I really want to get back into a groove, especially um, with these things and kind of do, doing live comps, right? Like, doing live comps doesn't even really particularly feel natural to me yet, again. But uh, this has been fun. We got back to to a bit of a groove. Uh, we did pick up an Archaeops. I didn't even mention, but we now have an, Ar an Archaeops on the team. I dropped the Zatu for this Archaeops, and uh, the team worked out really well. I really liked how the team interacted. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and Kingler is Kingler, right? I, I adore Kingler to death, and um, that's going to be week six. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL and more weeks of the EPBA. But with, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.